On September 4th, 2001, the patent for a reaction wheel was filed by Space Systems, Inc. What had taken nine months to produce yielded a revolution for movement in space. The reaction wheel assembly was described as having a reference axis, a wheel assembly including four wheels, each of the wheels being mounted for rotation on a spin axis. Said spin axes were arranged in a configuration where at least three of the said spin axes were oblique to the said reference axis. All will be explained and more in the continuation of this video. A reaction wheel is a wheel that spins at very rapid speeds and produces torque by rotating the attached vessel on an axis of rotation. This occurs because every action has an equal and opposite reaction according to Newton's third law. One wheel is required for each axis of rotation, pitch, roll, and yaw. The control system is usually made of four flywheels. Three of them are the main wheels that control the rotation on each axis, while the other one is used as a backup. These are all controlled by the vessel's flight computer. This is not a method of propulsion. This device creates torque, not thrust. Torque is created from the flywheel spinning very fast, which changes the angular momentum of the vessel. Newton's third law states that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Reaction wheels work on this principle of physics. For example, if the rotating or if the wheel rotates uh, counterclockwise, then the vessel will rotate on that axis clockwise. Using reaction wheels over a series of reaction control system thrusters greatly reduces weight, as no propellant or thrusters are needed. This increases the overall efficiency of a vessel, and this is not to be confused with a gyroscope. In order for any motion to occur, the commands to change the speed of the flywheel are made from the spacecraft's onboard computer. From there, the spacecraft changes the angular velocity of its motors to change the direction of the spacecraft in the three rotational axes, roll, pitch, and yaw. The power comes from the spaceship's own battery supply and can be recharged. This makes powering the motors easy because they can be recharged through any method of electricity generation. For example, solar power, fuel cells, RTGs, etc. Reaction wheels are best when used when the spacecraft is going to be making any small changes to its angular pos position in space. For example, when a telescope needs to follow a star. Another example that this system would be appropriate for are small crafts where extra weight isn't an option. Reaction wheels are the best choice for attitude control for spacecraft. It is also possible to control the attitude of spacecraft using ion thrusters. These can be chemical or cold gas thrusters, which just use compressed gas. The thing about thrusters is that they always apply forces, not just torques. The torque turns the spacecraft, but at the same time the force accelerates the spacecraft, which messes up the orbit. But sometimes thrusters are used for attitude control. In that case, offset pairs of thrusters pointed in opposite directions are used. When one fires the thrusters at the same time, they both contribute to the torque, but the force part and should, in theory, cancel. But because one can never get the two forces to be exactly equal, there is always a small residual change in velocity of the spacecraft, which pulls the spacecraft off of its orbit. In many cases, this is acceptable, but sometimes it's not. Ion thrusters also tend to be complicated and expensive, so reaction wheels are a much better alternative. As one can see, reaction wheels are necessary for small movements in space. Reaction wheels help to position satellites with small adjustments. For example, reaction wheels are used in the Hubble spacecraft and the Keplerian satellite to take pictures of far-off galaxies. Earth-like planets such as Kepler-22b and Kepler-186f were discovered by the Keplerian satellite, and without reactions, none of this would be possible. To further demonstrate applications of reaction wheels, I will show you how they can be used on a space plane in multiple stages of its flight. This space plane has three reaction wheel units, one of which is built into the cockpit and two of which are held in a cargo bay with a battery supply.
up to have end. We hoped your reaction to reaction wheels was grand.